I'm a fat cow, and I want all your chalky milk. I see your. <clears throat> I see your. <clears throat> TikTok, the incredibly popular social media platform of which one could say it's both a blessing and a curse. It harbors fairly good content but also holds some of the most cringe and idiotic videos known to man. And those are exactly what we're going to look at today. Beware of the cringe that awaits. Let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy. Well, he's never gonna find a job ever again. I know you're supposed to be allowed to be yourself, but if that's you, perhaps you should think again. Surely in 2022, being yourself doesn't mean not acting your age anymore. Yes, you can play the illness card, but there's enough of these people who do shit like this for clout, and I think this man is one of them. Just look at this. <coughs> Wait for it. I'm a fat cow, and I want all your chalky milk. <laughs> that cold? Ah! This freaking cold? This reminds me of what your friend in a movie would force you to do after you lose a bet. But no, this is all too real. And probably one of the fucking weirdest TikToks I've seen in a while. Thanks for giving me nightmares. I've got the shits just from watching this. Yes, we know there's probably less wasteful and ridiculous ways to get that point across, though. <laughs> probably the best pig impression ever. <laughs> There's certainly no need for that costume and makeup since anyone who's seeing this would have called him a pig anyway, but you know what they say, the end justifies the means. If this is what he needs to do in order to afford the gastric bypass he's in dire need of, all the power to him, I say. <laughs> oi, oi. Fucking hell, TikTok is so weird. This is actually so true and it applies almost entirely to Generation Z. Almost no other demographic of people would turn their trauma into a personality trait. A person whose trauma makes them funnier because they make use of it in correlation with dark humor doesn't feel the need to say that their trauma makes them funnier. It shows. I see your... <coughs> I see your... <coughs> If you also got goosebumps watching this, I want you to have this, cause you cringe just as I did. We'll get through this, I promise. Also, that part of the video was fucking sadder and unfunnier than this one. Honestly, this reminds me of the time before TikTok bought musical.ly. This was the sort of video every 14 year old girl would create to get attention. I mean, I've had dreams where I ultimately didn't know exactly if they were actually dreams or reality, but when it's something so absurd, I think I'd be able to differentiate. Like, fucking hell, even Gen Z dreams are out of the ordinary, and we're talking about dreams which are not known to be incredibly realistic in terms of content in the first place, because they're fucking dreams. But at the same time, it's probably her meds causing this. Honestly, I don't even know. Real! Rio! Rio! Why do some people on TikTok choose to do stuff like this in their free time? Don't they have anything better to do? Honestly, it's it baffles me.
How is pouring water onto these diamonds even going to prove their authenticity? Not to mention that if they were real, he would not need to prove this to some jealous 12-year-old on TikTok. Because he would not care what some jealous 12-year-old on TikTok thinks of his possessions, let's be honest. Well, there had to be that one person blaming someone's behavior on their star sign of all things, because what could possibly go wrong there? If you correlate someone's star sign with their behavior, please stop. You're not in second grade. If you don't stop, I urge you to unsubscribe from my channel because there is a minimum level of decency and critical thinking required to be a part of the Dry Gang. And the name of us as a community has absolutely nothing to do with our social skills or a certain sexual lack thereof, but is solely derived from my name, so don't start. What are these people trying to prove like this isn't even an acting role? They aren't practicing their portrayal of some character. This is just, I don't know, there's no point to what they're doing. Just why? Are they risking the mental well-being of others and the possible deterioration of their brain for no reason? Is this some cruel form of entertainment to them? Like, what is going on? Someone please explain this. <laughs> Or maybe I just want to date cisgender women. I mean, if it's only about women with penises, I could not give less of a poo, but as soon as I'm involved, that's when I'm uncomfortable, obviously. I would only date biological women. I did not sign up for a and balls. You can call me transphobic. I don't care. Does that mean I have a problem with trans people? No, not at all. I just wouldn't date a trans person. Yes, down with Santa and every single concept ever created which includes two opposing sides because that promotes segregation and inequality. If you still support Christmas, you are a racist bigot. F*** you. This is the only acceptable form of discrimination. Furries have become a very real threat and I salute every single brave soldier who takes action against such vile creatures. I can't wait for the time when people will put trigger and content warnings over things like lactose intolerance due to the obviously very real possibility of triggering said intolerance in a person and upsetting their stomach. I as both a British and lactose intolerant person am deeply offended by this and so is my stomach. How dare you? You see, I've long given up trying to find out whether something Gen Z does is serious or not. The best way to beat them is to treat all weird aspects of them as equally threatening. Now, as I'm sure most of my viewers are aware, you can't really smell yourself. That's called olfactory fatigue. Your sense of smell doesn't detect familiar odors after being exposed to them 24-7. It gets tired of it, so it stops. It doesn't matter if you smell of roses or not. And regardless of whether hygiene is a western concept why should it be rejected aside from others noticing a person's lack of hygiene which can lead to isolation and loneliness it's important to maintain because a total lack of personal hygiene promotes an environment for germs to grow and gastro as well as infectious diseases i think a shower every two days is not too much to ask no one wants to be ill after all so please refrain from spewing such nonsense <laughs> Can people please quit searching for a problem where there quite clearly isn't one? The last time I checked a penis doesn't become progressively thinner the further to the tip you get. I can't believe I'm even addressing such nonsense. It looks nothing like a penis and even if it did that does not contribute to your supposed patriarchal society. Wake up, this isn't the 60s. We have real issues that need resolving. This b isn't it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Don't forget to comment on future video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.